Hi everyone, this is the CTT repeat cycle timer. Now the CTT meaning counter timer tachometer and it's a multifunctional digital unit. So up on my screen here you'll see that we have our manual for the repeat cycle timer and it tells you uh, how the actual timer works itself. Then we have timing charts. Now the timing charts are here on, on the right hand side and there's actually two of them and that's based on the output signal. If we have the output signal on continuously, that being uh, that it's set for 0, uh, 0.00 seconds, what will happen is the output itself will cycle on for the time duration and then off for the time duration and on for the time duration. So it's a cycle, a repeat cycle. If it's on for just a, um, a little bit, then what will happen is every uh, at the end of every time cycle, it'll turn the output on for a fixed period of time. So there's two different methods of actually looking at this uh, timer itself. So we'll do the, actually the first one where we'll keep the uh, maintained output so that the output cycle will be on for the duration of the timer. So looking at the timer itself, if we actually hit and hold the mode key, we will actually come into the function, which will be timer. And that we can see on the manual here, after we can look at the timing wiring examples. And then here's our keypad setup that we're, we're going to. And then there's my set uh, time units. So it's only two pages of the manual to completely set up this unit for, the, um, for your cycle timer. So here we have the time mode. And then the next button here, will be for the up mode. So we're actually uh, counting or timing up. You can also uh, count or time down as well. And then our next mode is the setup. Now this is the uh, power on delay hold. So we're going to change that. We'll just hit the up arrow key to the, uh, to the repeat cycle timer. Then hit the mode again. And it changes it to that cycle. Then what we'll do is hit the mode once again. There's our time units, which is set for 0.1 of a second. Then we have our output, which is set for zero, which is maintained output. Time mode again, our reset is 20 milliseconds. And then we have PNP as our input type selected. That goes back to the wiring of our unit itself. So hitting again, it cycles back through the time function. So hit and hold the mode again to go back to the run. There we go. And currently right now we are set for uh, 10 seconds on it. So what we need is our start signal, which we will turn on. And you will see that uh, then we'll turn it off and it continues going. And it should go up to 10 seconds, turn the output on, which is exactly what it will do, is doing. And then after another 10 seconds, it will actually then turn the outputs off because again, we are in the um, repeat cycle. So on for 10, off for 10, on for 10, off for 10. So it complete, uh, continues that until we hit one of the other signals here. So we can hit the pause. Um, so we'll do that. And the pause just pauses the uh, turning on and off. Or what we can do is we can try the reset. The reset just resets the uh, counter and we'll turn it off again so it stops our cycle. And now we have to hit the start signal again to uh, signal it to start our repeat cycle. Now all the links and documentation can be found on our website at accautomation.ca. There's also links below this video um, that you will see. If you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out. You can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also go to ACC Automation and subscribe to our website. When you do, notification will be given to you every time we publish new content to the site. You'll also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data locking. And the third thing to do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.